Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you. Going to be reading for the lovely star sign of Gemini. So Gemini we've got the literary book of answers this week so let's have a look where we're stopping for you in here. I feel like I want to go towards the back. Take care of the scents and the sounds will take care of themselves and it's Alice Adventures in Wonderland Lewis Carroll. Take care of the scents and the sounds will take care of themselves. Interesting. And the sounds will take care of themselves. So, picking up and reading in between the lines there for you then, Gemini. I feel like it wants to say take care of yourself. To be fair, put yourself... Um, under the spotlight more so and it's like to sort of say to you problems other people's problems will sort themselves out it's as though there's an energy around you where you're more concerned at the moment about the welfare of others and obviously putting yourself um, on the back burner and really you should be taking care of yourself and it's like to say take care of yourself and in between the lines whatever's going on will sort itself out so I want to say not to worry I feel like I want to say not to worry about something for you at the minute so let's have a look in the cards and see what's going out in the cards for you then Gemini what have we got for Gemini and we've got clouded okay coming out with Coming out with Mermaid's Love. And this sort of cements what I was saying. At the moment, you're putting other people in focus, okay, worrying about a situation. Clouded judgment, really. I like to say you can't see that it's you that needs the attention at the minute. Okay, it's you that needs the help. Um, but that's your nature. Obviously, you're just putting other people first. Um, and it's saying to you, you've got to sort of start looking after you. Let's just have a look what your inner soul, inner psyche is feeling then. And it's unmarked trail revelation. I always look at this card as a breakthrough. Now, this can be a breakthrough in health because we've got green and I work with colour. So there could be somebody around you, if it's not you, who's not been well of late. And it's a breakthrough in that situation where they start to pick up and feel a little bit more as though they're coming back to life. Okay. It's communication that's coming in that you've been waiting to hear on. Now this could be to do with work ethics. Obviously not everybody works. But there's some news or there's a situation where you are waiting on an outcome. And I always look at the birds as communication. So there's communication coming in that will bring a revelation, that will bring a breakthrough as a positive energy for you. Let's have a look what the universe wants to add on to that then. What else have we got for Geminis? A change in the wind so there is a change coming in for you okay universe is bringing this change around you I want to say it's a change for the better there's something tied up with black and white legalities here as well for some of you because I'm looking at the zebra and I'm looking at the black and white stripes and I always associate the black and white around legal issues or there's something needs sorting out, or communication, as I said, that is waiting to come in. You're definitely going to be coming into a new phase. I want to say sort of around the 12th of July. So if there's something that you are focusing on, something that you are working on, something that you're trying to achieve, something that you're trying to complete, it'll all be done and dusted, okay, by the 12th of July. Let's have a look what the fairies want to add in this week for you then. What else have we got for Geminis? 
and we've got the ancient. We've got the ancient and its elder experience and lessons. So the fairies are coming in for you on this to highlight the fact there's a lesson to have been learned through this process. But you've had the knowledge and support or you've been the support for somebody to get through this. I just feel there's been a situation around some of my Geminis where you may have felt a little uncertain because of the clouded card. Something's clouded your judgment on a person or a situation. You've been sort of giving your time to others, more worrying over a situation, and it's like to say that situation will resolve itself. You need to put yourself under the spotlight. You need to reserve your own energies because there's things that you need to sort out, okay? But there's a change coming in, as I said, and that change will go through by the 12th of July. And it's a lesson to say, what did I worry about? Why should I have worried about that? I feel like there's some worrying elements here on an issue. Let's have a look what your animal spirit cards are coming out with. And we've got the alchemical sign of air and it's the bee. So there's communication here. I always look at the dots on this um, as the communication. There's something that you are working on, okay? Working on to complete, working on to achieve, okay? Finalise. I feel there's a change of direction for those of you who do work or somebody who around you in your close energy fields. There's a job change here because of the knowledge card. So there is a change, a shift. Okay, and that's why the revelation card comes in. So for some of my Geminis, if it's not you directly, there's somebody in your family, somebody in your friend's connection who has strived and worked maybe studied, put the, put the effort in, the hard work in, but it's going to pay off. And I said, come July, that this is where that changes, around the 12th of July. So the clouded is giving the energy of, you can't really see what's going on. Okay, you can't see what's been manifesting and working behind the scenes for you on this situation. Let's have a look what your guides, angels want to bring in then this week what else have we got for Gemini stand your ground standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time now is the moment when you need to stand your ground you know you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor. See something's coming out in your favour or somebody's favour. I want to say, going back to the clouded card here, don't let somebody cloud your judgment either over a situation. It could be that you're trying to influence somebody as well. You might be trying to persuade somebody to do something or act on something. And it might be saying stand your ground in trying to nurture and redirect and influence that person because I feel you've got the knowledge, okay, and the experience to direct this person to bring this revelation to them. It's very deep. So let's have a heads up for next week's energy. I want to say, I've got spirit coming through, they're just channeling through this crystal here. I'm looking at the green in this crystal. Like somebody's envious or somebody's jealous of a situation around you at the minute, Gems, for some of you, okay? Um, just to be mindful of that, that there's 
somebody who is a bit envious um, of a situation around you, uh, what, whatever that may be, it could be on a relationship stance, um, there's some kind of envy going on, so I just want to say be mindful of that, somebody's got their green eyes, okay, green eyes uh, on you at the moment. So, heads up, wow, we've got fortune's wheel, look and right timing. So, we've started off with clouded, and this is emphasising the whole of this reading. There's a situation that you are dealing with at the moment where you feel a bit uncertain, okay? A little bit of worry, a little bit of anxiety in this situation. If it's not you directly, you're worried about somebody else, as I said Try not to worry because the situation is going to resolve itself, as I said, around the 12th of July. Stand your ground on a situation as well where I feel some of my Geminis were trying to um, direct or influence somebody on a decision, okay? Because they can't really see clearly what they're doing may be a mistake, because I feel like Spirit is saying there's somebody around you who's going to be wanting to do something and you feel it's a big mistake okay and you're trying to make them see that through your experience and knowledge as well but at the end of the day we've got um, a change coming in two and three add up to five but it's all about look and right timing gemini okay so i'm just going to grab this coin that's hiding behind here that i used a few weeks ago and if you can just sit quietly and think of a question that you'd like a yes or a no answer on okay then I'm going to flip the coin, you can pause the video while you think of the question and then we'll see what the outcome is from the coin. So I'm just going to flip this coin. Like I say, you can pause the video while you're thinking of a yes or a no question and let's have a look what comes out for you. And we've got the sleeping hair. So it's just saying no to your question at the moment. It's saying let sleeping dogs lie maybe. Saying you need to rest as well. I also got the sleeping hair, like to say you're pushing yourself too much. So it's no at the minute. You need to slow down. Let sleeping dogs lie. Just go with the flow, okay? So my lovely Geminis, I hope you can take something from that reading this week. Don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. Any comments, guys, always helps this channel. So until next time, you take care of yourself. Bye then.